Barbara Walters was definitely a rule breaker. Get your own cup of coffee. Starting behind the scenes here at Today, then reporting on lighter fare at first. This is a nail ring. I did indeed go to bunny school. Famously went undercover as a Playboy bunny. When President Kennedy died, she proved she could cover hard news. These are the honor guards guarding the casket of President Kennedy. Today, the women in China speak. Good morning, Mr. Well, President. Well, good morning, Barbara. How We're are so you? Pleased President Nixon helps Barbara Walters make a connection with Prince Philip. Puts in a good word for her. Nixon said, you should let Barbara Walters interview you, and he did. Your Royal Highness, I promised President Nixon that I would begin this interview with a question of his, a question he suggested. Just the details. In 1971, Barbara sat alongside Today host Frank uh, McGee. Here this morning is Barbara Walters. I thought for a second you couldn't remember. No. Frank McGee sets up a rule that she can't speak until he has had his say. Barbara Walters was not allowed to speak during an interview. My question is, do you think the Until he had asked the first three questions. So much heat. So she pivoted and started arranging interviews in the field. What I wanted to ask is how she could do the first three questions and all the other questions, too. After McGee's death in 1974, Barbara Walters became the first woman named co-host of Today, interviewing newsmakers and stars. Was it happy for you to make it? I enjoyed it very much. And after 13 years... This is the last, my last day on Today, so... I... She jumps to ABC News and gets a big contract. That was really something. A million dollars a year. And it gave her this nickname, Million Dollar Baby, which she hated. Sexist and demeaning. Her co-anchor, Harry Reasoner, threatened to quit when they hired Barbara as the first female evening co-anchor and treated her terribly, even on air. I had a little trouble in thinking of what to say to welcome you. Barbara Walters at the time said she thought she was drowning. You say the tension was so obvious that even John Wayne, the film legend, wrote to Barbara, don't let the bastards get you down. She kept that letter forever. All of it, Page says, motivating Barbara to work harder. She landed a huge interview with Cuban leader Fidel Castro. There was a lot of speculation at the time where they may be seeing each other, having a relationship. Maybe more than friends. You know, she, she said no, but they definitely had a spark. She interviewed so many famous people. She knew how to make people cry. I mean, that became part of her signature, too. The life that we didn't see on TV, her personal life, what was that like? She had three failed marriages. She adopted a daughter from whom she was estranged for a long time, although they eventually reconciled. You go back to her childhood and talk a lot about how really difficult it was. She had a father who he would invest in things and make money and then lose money. She knew that she had to be responsible for all of them. And that was really, I think, what fueled that remarkable drive that she had. Your biography definitely goes there on Barbara Walters as competitor and really competing, especially with Diane Sawyer, to get the best interviews. So okay. Catherine Hepburn has agreed to an interview with Diane Sawyer for her news magazine. And Barbara, who knows Catherine Hepburn, calls her while they're setting up the cameras in her apartment and says, don't do the interview with Diane. You should do it with me. While they're setting up the cameras. Yes. But Catherine Hepburn said, I'm not going to do that. But Barbara tried. But Barbara tried. Her drive was infamous. She would put her job in front of everything. And maybe she had to. You were doing things no woman had ever done. Women in television today no longer have to begin as I did. She paved the way for the next generations in TV. She reshaped it. She defined it. She redefined it. Of course, she went on to create The View and had a whole other chapter late in life. A lot of people don't know that SNL sketch, Baba Wawa, which uh -huh. poked fun at her speech. Susan writes that Barbara was really upset by that. Betty Davis, the actress, told Barbara the caricature is, quote, very important on your way to becoming a legend. <laughs> so there you go. Barbara Walters was certainly. And you worked with Barbara and Diane and the whole crew, right, at ABC? <laughs> I did. And Front I row saw, seat. Well, some of that, you know, there's a whole chapter about mm -hmm. Diane. And Diane spoke with mm -hmm. Susan Page for mm -hmm. the book. Um, a lot of it I saw and yeah. heard about yeah. while I worked at ABC. There was definitely that competitiveness that was sort of fostered from above. Yes. Oh, the bosses sure. at ABC, they, yeah. they pitted them against each other a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say Diane also goes on uh, out of her way to say that they had a, a friendship as mm -hmm. well. So it was complicated. I think a lot of this book 
is complicated, right? Mm -hmm. Barbara Walters was so fiercely competitive. I was struck by kind of the end chapters of her life. Mm. She wasn't sure she had done enough, wow. if you can oh, believe wow. that. There's, there's a line in the book that she was propelled not by her strength, but by her uncertainties. Wow. Mm. Um, wow. And, and, that yeah, says I get that. It says Me a too. lot. And, and I, I hesitate to say this, but the book says, Susan Page writes, that she was even resentful at times at some of us, the later mm. generations that came, because she had to fight so hard. Uh, she had to go through so much, and we had The doors were already open. Right. A lot of trouble, yeah. you just feel that way. Yeah. Well, guess what? Right. That's very human. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. understandable, and it is true. Wow. A totally different world. Wow. Sounds cool. like a fascinating book. Yeah. It is a fascinating book. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Right. It's worth reading. Thanks, Thank Kate. You, Kate. Thank you so much. It's called The Rule Breaker, The Life and Times of Barbara Walters. It's out today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.